Everyone take it before other his own supper. And one is hungry, and another is drunken. What? Have ye not houses to eat and drink in? You got houses to eat and drink in. Come on. Or despise ye the church of God, and shame them that have not. What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. Now, you know, people come to the feast in that mindset of just, you know, it's just a feast. We can't. They barbecue, and I heard about that lamb. Huh? Come on, brother. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, uh -huh. that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he t was betrayed, took bread. He read Matthew 26 and 17. That was the feast of unleavened bread. It was Passover, preparation for the feast. You see that? And he sat down and ate. So it's safe to say the same night that he took bread was Passover. See, this ain't going to say that in here. It calls it the Lord's Supper in here. But the Lord's Supper is Passover. All right, come on, bro. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Supposed to keep this feast in remembrance of Christ. It's all about Christ. All right, come on, bro. After the same manner also he took the cup, and when he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. Oh, that blood again. In my blood. Come on, bro. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. All in remembrance of Christ. Come on, bro. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he comes. See, we're supposed to be remembering his death. See, we under a vibration today. Oh, it's the Lord's birthday. Where we get that at? He wasn't doing all that. The disciples and them weren't doing all that. They was doing what we doing today, tonight. Lord said, remember my death till I come. All right, come on, brother. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily mm. shall be guilty of the blood of the body and the blood of the Lord. Come on. But let a man examine himself. Everybody in there should examine themselves before they came up in her. Examine yourself. What are you really here for? All right, come on, bro. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, uh, not discerning the Lord's body. So if you just up in here to eat, you can be possibly eating damnation unto yourself. That's a damnation. Unto yourself, because you're not discerning the Lord's body. What are we here for? For Christ's sacrifice. The Lord's body. All right? Come on, bro. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, mm. and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. Mm. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Come on. The Lord loves those he chastened. Until you get the book of Hebrews. Like you whoop your children because you what? Love them. All right? So the Lord get on you because he loves you. He wants you to learn something. Come on, bro. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. Hey, wait on your brethren. Wait on your sisters. We trying. We going to get her. We trying to get her. All right? Tarry one for another. Come on. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home. Uh -huh. That ye come not together unto condemnation. Come on. And the rest will I set in order when I come. Okay, if we can have uh, Zippor come back up. Yo, so just an understanding of why we keep the Passover. On why we keep the Passover, you just got it tonight. It was a quick version, but we just did a class on it, a couple class on it. It took us a couple hours to get it done. But we want to just give you the meat of it. <laughs> 